Short on the sides and a little bit longer on top. Oh, I don't have a unibrow, right? Uh, normally my grandma gives me a haircut. Oh, it looks so good. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I am outside of Principal Barber Shop, and I'm gonna be interviewing the best barber in the Cleveland area. We're gonna be going over all of your hair questions, some different hair products, the best hairstyle for all of you guys, and really just answering all of your hair questions. So, let's get started. My name's Chuck Falk. I own Principal Barber Shop in Shaker Heights, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and I've been cutting hair for uh, about 10 years now. I've seen a lot of hair hit the ground, so I'm ha happy to say that. What is the most common men's haircut? Okay, that's, um, that's a simple answer and a complex answer. The best haircut that looks good on the majority of guys is one that you can take care of and one that you feel comfortable in. I, a short answer, I would say short on the sides and a little bit longer on top. Yeah, I think the short on the sides, it, it shows definition of your face and then longer on top, Depending on what type of hair you have, you can everybody can wear it differently and it gives you a little bit of style and character. Now, what would you say is the hardest to maintain? One of the harder haircuts to maintain, if you're saying harder means more frequently needed to be cut, mm -hmm. is definitely like a skin fade, bald fade, um, something that you're removing all the hair from the scalp and then fading it up. Got it. Because that hair that you remove is gonna grow back in three to four, seven days, and then you'll feel like you need to get it cut off again. So would you say that long hair is probably one of the hardest to maintain as well? Uh, long hair, it probably requires more time. Um, and with more time, yes, probably more effort. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to probably see it get dirtier, easier, just because there's more of it. Um, and also the constant like pushing it away from your face or tucking it behind your ears. So I would say longer the hair, the more effort needed to keep it clean and styled. What do you think are the most common mistakes guys typically make with their hair? I think a common mistake with hair is too much product. I see that a lot when guys come into my chair. Their hair is caked on with product. If you blow your hair dry or do a really good towel dry, the amount of product needed is like the size of a nickel. Mm -hmm. And if you emulsify it really well in your hand, mix it together really well, and add it to the hair evenly, you really don't need a lot of product. What would your advice be to someone who is losing their hair? I have customers in my hair or in my chair that are experiencing that, and I always encourage them to get their hair cut as long as possible before shaving it. Because that's a drastic change. It's a drastic change, and actually it requires more upkeep by shaving your head because if you are thinning, that hair's still growing. So by taking it all down, just like shaving your face, it's gonna come back in under a week. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be left with a fuzz, um, like a tennis ball, and you're gonna have to actually shave your head more often. Okay. So I always encourage customers that are experiencing thinning hair to cut their hair as short as possible with a good style um, because I can make your hair look thicker when it's shorter, when it's thinning. Um, the, the density of the hair is, is leaving, so by adding a particular texture to the hair and the right product, I can make your hair look fuller. Okay, so if a guy's losing his hair, he should go shorter, not longer, which I feel like is a common myth on the internet also, is like, oh, I'm losing my hair, I'm just gonna grow it out. But right. that can actually make your hair look thinner. How often should guys be getting their hair cut? Well, on average, uh, people's hair grows about a half inch a month. So if you wanna wear a super tight haircut where you see your skin, um, I would recommend you're in here at least every two weeks. The shorter you wear your hair, the more high maintenance it is if you wanna continue that look. Once a month, you should jump in the chair, get the haircut um, to keep it short. So just to be fun, we thought we would ask some guys on the streets of Cleveland if they know anything about their hair, what to ask for, if they know how to use products, all the good stuff. So let's get started. So how often do you guys get your hair cut? Not often enough, clearly. Yeah, not often enough. Probably every four to five months, like twice a month. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, I should go up more often, maybe like a month, like a month and a half-ish, uh, but it, but I get it probably three months. Uh, hey, you got great hair. <laughs> Thank you, awesome. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, about once a month. I usually get every done two weeks, okay. cut every two weeks. And what do you ask for when you get your hair cut? Uh, taper fade, well taper. Uh, I ask for a bald fade. Probably like a three and a half on top. I know like I grew it out now. 
and then uh, eventually once I get my beard full, it'll just be cut and trim. So just full beard. Just the sides. Are you guys growing your hair out? No. <laughs> uh, normally my grandma gets my hair cut, but... What do you ask your grandma for when you get your hair cut? Just a trim, basically. Uh, but I don't know. Just shorter. I don't even know. All right, we have Joe here today who is in desperate need of a haircut, but he has no idea what he wants. So I think a lot of you guys probably will find yourself in this situation as well. So I'm gonna have Chuck kind of walk through what a consultation would look like for someone who has no idea what they wanna do with their hair. Maybe they don't know what would look good on them or you know, working with their hair type and all of that jazz. So I get my hair cut every, I don't know, sometimes I'll do it like every month or two and then like now I haven't got a haircut in six months. So just whenever, whenever. When I get my hair cut, I kind of just go in and say something like, just make me look good. And then whatever they do, I kind of just have to live with. So I've been like trying to grow my hair long. And one thing that's annoying is uh, between like short and long hair, it hits this weird, like very uncomfortable length where it's just like, uh, you need a haircut, but you know you can't get one yet. And you just look gross all the time. It, kinda, it like looks like you're hungover every day for like four months. And uh, it's disgusting. <laughs> Take it away. All right, so one of my first questions for you, Joe, is how often do you want to get your hair cut? Um, not terribly often. If I could do it like every three or four months, that'd be perfect. Okay, so you like to get your hair cut, let it grow, and then forget about it for two to three, four months at yeah. the most, and then uh, come back, get it cut. Correct. I mean, this is like six months because I've been extra lazy, but usually cool. yeah, three or four. And then is there anything that you do not want your hair to look like? Like I should know not to even go down that road. Do you want to see your skin on the sides? Yeah, I don't want to see the skin on the sides. I don't like it to be too short because I, I have curly hair and then when it starts to grow long again, it looks real weird. Okay. Um, I don't, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good to know. So what I think for your hair and the frequency in which you want to get it cut, I'll take the length around the ear, um, cut it all the way off so it's just touching the ear so it's a little okay. bit of a shaggy look and you can use no product to style it or you can use a little bit of product cool. to keep it out of your eyes. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. So with the haircut we chose for Joe, he'll be able to wear this like low maintenance or he can put product in it and he'll be able to style it up a little bit too. Yeah, this is going to have a nice square shape, which is important for men's hairstyles um, to look square and not round. Mm -hmm. um, it will help shape his face. It will also help give him uh, more confidence in the hairstyle. And it's super low maintenance if you want to, mm -hmm. or you know, adding some product, adding a hair dryer to the mix will just uh, will increase it. Oh, I don't have a unibrow, right? No. Okay, I good. I can feel I'm just taking my mullet right now. That's that's the, that's what I wanted the most. Is that mullet gone? So what I like to do also with a lot of density of hair, I use my thinning shears. So these shears cut 50% of the hair and leave the other half. Mm -hmm. um, it's just good for a debulker. Um, doesn't really work good with very curly hair because it disrupts the curl. But with a wave and thick hair, it's good to do a couple chops. Just take some of the, the bulk out, but uh, keep the remainder of the length. Is, is my hair uh, wavy or curly? I'd say it's wavy. Okay, perfect. Do just like straight across bangs ever look good on a dude or no? Um, well, in Europe, they're doing that a lot. Really? Yeah, that's like that whole fringe. Mm. Europe's gotta figure some stuff out. out. Does a guy's face shape play a huge role in how you decide like what would look good on him? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, you want, with all men's haircuts, you want to be as square as possible to yeah, really angles. to accentuate jawline. So you want to have this square, you know, and you can achieve that with different lengths, but I think on average, um, you know, face shape comes into play all the time. Um, also, if you if you have a long face, uh, you know you should wear your sideburns a little bit lower on your in your facial hair to create a uh, less of a long shape. Um, I get, like if you Elvis. Bring it, yeah. If you bring it up too high, then it just kind of accentuates a longer face. Yeah, make you look have a really long chin. Yeah. yeah.
How do you think you're gonna style it? Well, we definitely have a couple options. Um, I can style it kind of up and over, um, which I think will be good. I can style it forward and messy. Um, but the way that I cut it is pretty versatile and requires pretty much no maintenance. Um, it's gonna fall naturally. Um, it's not short, it's not too long that it's in his eyes anymore and it's controlled around the ears and in the back of the neck that, um, that it will look clean. And I left the top long enough that it is going to lay down with the curl and it won't stick straight up. Um, so he won't have to worry about like an alfalfa situation happening. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use the Layrite Original Pomade, which has a high, a medium hold and a high shine. Goop it up. Goop it up. I'm gonna use that little finger full here. Mix that in. And this is gonna add a high shine to the hair. It's gonna pull the curl pretty straight. All right, so what we did with Joe today, uh, the majority of the haircut happened uh, around the ears and in the back. We took all of his length off. He mentioned he didn't want to see his scalp uh, around the glasses region, so I used a longer clipper and removed all the hair, but keeping it dark enough that you're not seeing through. And then in the back, I did a soft taper. There's a little bit of a line here uh, from the skin to the hair and tapered it up into the length. I think I looked uh, like much more presentable with this haircut. I also learned like a couple of different ways to style it. The way Chuck cut it, I can kind of play with it a little bit. So I can either put stuff in it or I can kind of let it hang down in the front a little bit. It's pretty versatile, so that's cool. Um, I, had a, I had a ton of hair when I came in here, so it is no noticeably shorter. And I can like, when the AC's on, I can like feel it on my head, which is a new sensation. And uh, it's it's nice. I didn't think I could wear my hair this short, but Chuck did a great job, so I'm, I'm pretty pumped about it. Yeah, no, I uh, I love my new haircut. Thanks, Chuck, for cutting it and doing a really good job. I was nervous at first, but he was he was the perfect person to do it. And thanks, Courtney, for having me. I had a lot of fun. All right, guys, if you like this style of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.